a good idea. The moon is a mysterious mistress. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and... They should, like, combine pizza and nachos together and call them Piznachios? Man, I could go for some Piznachios right now. Chocolate syrup or peanut butter? Chocolate syrup or peanut butter? Dude, I have to dip these potato chips in something. All food should have, like, a creamy center and a colorful candy shell, and their commercial should have, like, kung fu or giraffe. Up. Oh. <sighs> Welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? Always. Oh, you should food. come out should and see my band, like a bowl a of cereal. Center, We're playing tomorrow night at the Crematorium. Candy Five shell, bucks, two drink and their commercial We're gonna ruin have the place. Like Kung Fu or Giraffe. Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn the girls in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? All food should have, like, a creamy center and a colorful candy shell, and their commercial should have, like, kung fu or giraffe. Yo, keep it down. Shh. It's just my side gig, you know. New amps and lap dances don't pay for themselves, dude. All food should have, like, a creamy center and a colorful candy shell, and their commercial should have, like, kung fu or giraffe. Razor blades, strawberries, scorpions. I wonder how they microwave burritos in the Middle Ages.
Uh, you must be at least as high as this counter to buy alcohol, porn, and or cigarettes, bro. Death, death, death. Spend, spend, spend. Sex, sex, sex. Happy Mother's Day. Death, death, death. Spend, spend, spend. Sex, oh, food should blades. have like a creamy center and a colorful candy shell. And their commercial should have like kung fu or giraffe. Hola. Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Ha! Waste of effort. <coughs> End of the alley. Isaac's inside. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Gah, oh, LaCroix. That egotistical fop. His reach in Los Angeles far exceeds his grasp. Prince, don't make me laugh. Prince is a title. An outdated and absurd bit of jargon given to any fool that would scheme hard enough for it. I don't recognize it, and neither will any kindred under the protection of this barony. I don't fear LaCroix, nor do I give a damn about his jackboots, sycophants, and court jesters. Let them all come to Hollywood. It would be a battle sequence worthy of Kurosawa. By all means, please do. Now tell me, what brings you to Hollywood? And don't tell me you're just here to stroll the Walk of Fame. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. 
LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind and asking for my help of all peoples. Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Absolutely not. You pull that cowboy routine anywhere in my city and I'll personally take an interest in seeing you suffer. I had in mind something a bit more subtle. Now pay attention. Here's what I want you to do. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? You live long enough, you'll be asking some whelp to do the same thing. And as I mentioned, this is simply a matter of tribute. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. You made good time. Hand me the item. Gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. My mistake.
Sorry, no vacancies. Feel free, man. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types, man. You, you get stories, you get characters, you get like, you know... This is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It's invaluable. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. It's called passion, man. It's like my calling, okay? Like the reason for my existence. I'm always like constantly in thought about how to approach my next project, see? And it's, it's just like, like a tempest of fantastic ideas moving, moving through me, like always, like a flood through a hose. Does a writer write or does he just like ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius. But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Me? I'm, like, looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me... I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be, like, it's going to be believable. Well, in my story, it's not, like, about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? Night eating you? Oh my god! My work is done.
night eating you? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to protect and serve, right? <laughs> today. Starting.
Yeah? What do you want? Yeah? Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. What? Man, I don't have to take this crap. You can tell Isaac to get his own goddamn... What? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger's swans. Huh? What the hell was that? 
Shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ! <gasps> Don't have it, do you? Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? You didn't. Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the fifties. Twenty years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Don't have it, do you?
Like what you see? Hey there, handsome. My name is Misty. Can I interest you in a private dance? I've got something special in mind, just for you. Great. Now all I need from you is $100, and then we can go back and get things started. What? Then I'm a little short on time, sweetheart. Sorry, but I don't give up these goods for free. What? Listen, I don't have to take this kind of crap from a desperate loser like you. Go pay for it somewhere else, asshole. Mmm, mm, hi there. Good to see you again, sweetheart. Wanna have a little party? Just you and me? Uh, yeah. Oh, look what just walked in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs, where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. Isn't this better? You and me alone, for just a little while. Away from Jihad and the nonsense, and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Oh yes. What gave me away? Hmm. Absolutely intoxicating for you to notice. I'm beginning to think bringing you up here was an even better idea than I thought. The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Think nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Valor. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose.
For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. I've had to adjust a lot to this existence, and I've accepted that I may have to do just that. But I'm a suspect, and if she ends up dead and I'm seen, they'll either kill me or chase me into obscurity, where I'll wither and die. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde on top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Look who's back. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. Mm-hmm. It is now. Mm-hmm. Look who's back. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm-hmm. Nice night out, huh? Picked up a Spaz 15 this morning. Cleaned, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Specifically? Hollywood's been good to me. A lot of my business comes from Hollywood. 
Guy named Isaac runs the show, real legend. Camarilla's got no presence to speak of there. Stop by the graveyard. Good customer of mine works it. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've turned into the Deb of Night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323-KL5-KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insect has been found yet of the haunted L.A. team, and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end, though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas <gasps> where you. the crew is filming. Firefighters are Earlier trying to tonight, contain a flash fire in the Hollywood you? Hills this morning. I had this Smoke feeling and like I was being watched. Late this <sighs> Maybe evening. it's nothing, the but fire had already spread I'm rapidly still a little shook up. Firefighters arrived due to brush and wind conditions. Fire officials expect the blaze to be extinguished within the next few hours, but are advising local homeowners in the area to evacuate. Another victim of the Southland slasher was found if inside the Lucky you, Star Motel yes, in Hollywood this it. evening. The fifth to attributed to, to the killer. Police say that there is ample evidence that the slasher was interrupted during the murder, and police are asking anyone who might have witnessed the events to aid them in their capture of the killer. The Encarn sarcophagus, delivered to the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History this morning, was stolen just hours before experts could examine its contents. Authorities are baffled by its theft, as the museum employs several sophisticated security measures that have foiled previous robbery attempts. Police speculate professional art and antiquity thieves are behind the sarcophagus's disappearance. More on this story as it breaks. A tourist bus destined for the ancient city of...
back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? Nothing matters to me! My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there, in the way? Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen? Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds and licking their blood from my claws. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! I'm supposed to owe allegiance to some vampire clan I know nothing about just because I was attacked? I was left for dead. Providence made me what I am. I'm doing what I was meant to do. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here, or one of us dies. Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. 
you think? My family. Not one of them. I tracked them down, hunted them, one by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood, he was the last of them. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! I'm supposed to owe allegiance to some vampire clan I know nothing about just because I was attacked? I was left for dead. Providence made me what I am. I'm doing what I was meant to do. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one... Need a fix? Going somewhere? 